Let's take an early look at the next major MW3 Zombies update. A bunch of stuff to go through here in today's video. Timestamps down below to skip around to a certain part. And be sure to check out U4GM for help getting MW3 Mastery Camos, Rare Unlocks, Zombie Skimax, and much more. They're doing a special Christmas and New Year discount, 15% off with my code MATT. Links are down below. But first up here, let's go through some stuff releasing. This is for Zombies, but also for the game overall. This seems to be the Season 2 weapon list here. Just want to add this for you guys. It's going to be in a couple months, but still... Pretty cool to see. We have the ANVLB, we have the AK-12, the Ruger P85, Act 5 in Zombies, and new enemies in Zombies as well. So this video will be a combination of Season 1 Reloaded content and Season 2 Zombies content as well. So Act 5 obviously is expected here. We're going to see a lot more missions there. Act 4, not really anything too crazy. It was cool with the boss fight and stuff, but not a big list of missions like we thought it would be. We'll go through more of that later on in the video, but cool stuff there. And of course, very soon, we're also getting this chainsaw aftermarket part in mw3 which seems pretty interesting we'll go through how that is in game very soon but for some season one reloaded content here our expected release date for that mid-season update in mw3 is wednesday january 17th and for zombies they already confirmed a bunch of stuff we're seeing here the first one is the new warlord dokabi they say this here hoping to counter operation deadbolt's technological advantage in the exclusion zone jack fletcher the leader of terminus outcomes will deploy another of his lieutenants to the battle space in the coming weeks south korean board Dokubi will bring with her intimate understanding of electronic warfare and a fleet of self-programmed autonomous drones ready to wreck carnage on Operation Deadbolt's operatives from the sky. And we have more leaks going through how she's going to attack us through the swarm kill streak. She'll have a UAV as well, a bunch of voice lines leaked out for her. So a lot of cool stuff there. She should be a pretty interesting warlord to fight. But there's other warlords releasing as well. A big lineup here. We have Kedis here, the other warlord. Locate and eliminate Kedis. Kedis Fortress unlocks Kedis Fortress doors and Kedis eliminated we have the same stuff for Dokubi as well and then another warlord releasing rainmaker same stuff locate eliminate the fortress unlock the door there and eliminate them as well so can't wait to see that stuff there that all should be releasing very soon and for a whole list here of upcoming mw3 zombie bosses not just for season one reloaded in season two but future seasons as well we have some returning from dmz which isn't too surprising we have a juggernaut a hammer knot all for one, the chemist returning, which is cool. Gunslinger, the maestro we talked about, MD, Phalanx, Rainmaker, Rush Hour, Shadow, and then for some unsure stuff, Vera, Trap, Shield Maiden, and Pyro. So a lot of these here sound pretty cool. Some from DMZ, some completely new. And as we talked about, some of these here are potentially going to be added as operator skins as well. Either operator rewards for completing, let's say, all the Act 5 missions, which sounds cool. Probably in bundles as well, which makes complete sense there. Let me know down below any other operators you want to see in the game, especially from the MW3 Zombies universe or even the DMZ universe as well. And for other operators releasing here very soon, apparently we're getting more Ash Williams skins here, which I'm pretty sure this is going to be for the next Halloween update, but Bleakers have been talking about this recently so i thought i'd add it here maybe they just drop it very soon as a zombies themed bundle who knows new tomb raider operator skin as well which is kind of random but i guess it's pretty cool personally in terms of zombie themed operators i would much rather see just more straight up zombie operators like the reward for completing all the missions in mw3 zombies that operator is so so sick so more of that type of vibe in the game again whether it's a reward or a bundle would be cool overall let me know down below but for some other mw3 zombie features here we're getting a bunch of perks in the game the first one here is mule kick which makes complete sense it will allow you to carry three primary weapons nothing too much to talk about there a standard perk overall you guys know what that's like in zombies another one here that got leaked up is electric cherry which pretty much just like when you reload you have that you know spark effect whatever that electric effect that you know kills zombies or stuns them around you that's pretty cool they might change it up a little bit here but we'll see what ends up happening another one that got teased here which i really would love to see is widow's wine first introduced back in shadows of evil bo3 i want to go through a list here of a bunch of different tiers of the widow's wine perk this is a concept that we talked about back during black ops cold war now will they add all these features to mw3 zombies not so sure but maybe they'll combine all of them together That'd be pretty cool, but Widow's Wine, the base ability here is getting hit by a melee attack while missing health will cause a cobweb explosion that will decay or slow enemies nearby. You could store up to three charges every round, so tier one in this instance would be the cobweb explosion will affect a larger radius. 
Tier 2, Cobb of Explosion, lasts twice as long. Tier 3, the amount of charges you can store has been increased to 5. Tier 4, sliding will create a cobweb trail that slows down any enemies inside of it. 30 second cooldown. And Tier 5, charges are now time-based instead of round-based. 30 seconds to regenerate a charge. So, of course, they're not going to bring back the tier system in MW3. They would have done it at the launch of the game if they were going to do that for zombies. But still having a lot of these abilities in some type of way in MW3 would be cool. But, you know, for 2024's COD, for Treyarch's COD then... Having this concept here in that game with all the five tiers, I feel like would be pretty sick. So let me know down below your opinions on that. But for some more MW3 zombie stuff here, of course, we're getting x fill streaks in the game. We saw them in DMZ. This makes complete sense here. This should have been at the launch of the game, but we're getting them a bit later in the game's life cycle. It is what it is. But x fill streak one here is starting with 500 essence. Streak two is start with five armor plates. Streak three, start with a thousand essence. Streak four, 30% off perk machine cost. Streak five, start with 1500 essence. Streak six, increase contract payout. Streak seven, start with 2500 essence streak 8 50 percent off mystery box cost streak 9 start with 5000 essence and streak 10 20 percent off pack punch cost so these aren't too crazy in my opinion good little rewards and bonuses for going on those x fill streaks there but nothing too overpowered this might be a bit different when it actually releases in game we'll see very soon and another update here which again is not confirmed just a leak and a rumor but this would be a massive overhaul change here to mw3 zombies completely changing the way the game is kind of played here so player versus player in mw3 zombies may be enabled via a new bug randomly in a match a reddit user found that they were able to damage another player it's unknown how the bug is triggered again chances are this is just leftover code from dmz it's pretty clear that mw3 zombies is dmz but with zombies and other zombie style missions and weapons and stuff like that it's pretty obvious there but do they go as far as to really bring back a, a core feature of DMZ being able to attack and fight other players? I mean, look, I, I feel like a lot of people would probably not want to see that, but I've seen plenty of people that play DMZ that don't like zombies because you can't fight other players and they see it being a little too boring because you don't have that extra element of fighting other players and just fighting AI is kind of boring. Now, I disagree I, I have a lot of fun playing zombies not having to worry about other players i think it's pretty enjoyable but it would be cool to see a separate ltm potentially in mw3 zombies the, you know separate from the main modes where you can fight other players and to see how that works in the game if people really enjoy that would it add a whole new element to the game but although fighting other players in the tier 3 red zone that sounds way too stressful way too crazy and in the dark either zone as well everyone's teleporting there fighting each other i don't know if that would work out but it would be cool to try it out and just to see so let me know down below would you want to see that in zombies as a short-term feature as a limited time mode or as a long-term feature do you like ai only do you want to see other players let me know your opinions on that down below but if they did that that would be an insanely big change there for mw3 zombies for another zombies related event here this isn't necessarily zombies in the actual mode but it's zombies in multiplayer but we are getting it very soon in the reloaded update so i thought i'd add it here because it's still pretty cool we have a vortex mode which again is a free-for-all mode in mw3 mp where one player spawns in with the infamous zombie wonder weapon the one-shot ray gun whoever eliminates the operator with the ray gun becomes the new owner of this powerful and otherworldly pistol vortex takes place on three remixed mp maps satan's quarry spore yard and Tanus, and i'll show some previews of those maps up on screen they look so insanely cool the sky boxes are completely different the map looks really sick this is actually what i wanted them to do for you know outbreak back in black ops cold war where outbreak were literally just the fire team maps almost exactly how they looked but in zombies and it made the zombies maps feel a bit too much like mp these here are mp maps but almost completely overhauled to really give them a super cool zombie look so for the future here maybe having mp maps in zombies is an option you know just like onslaught but as long as you change them and give them a zombie feel I, they almost are like different maps and i would be completely down with that and going a step further would be just to take these maps here from vortex and put them in mw3 zombies and allow us to play potentially a mini zombies game on these maps allowing us to loot around there get different missions done stuff like that maybe we teleport to these locations as well or even making these maps individual round based maps in mw3 zombies unlimited timer you know rounds exactly how they were back in the day pack punch machine mystery box perks all that good stuff just on these little maps that feel like really sick mini round based zombie maps as is just based on the images they seem cool so maybe they do that we'll see very soon 
I feel like it's an easy opportunity for them. They already have the maps developed there. And Vortex is a LTM. These maps are going to be in the game for two weeks, then they're going to be removed. So having these maps developed just to be played for two weeks and completely removed from the game doesn't make any sense there. Might as well bring them to zombies and have them permanently in that mode for everyone to play. You know, we'll see very soon what we end up getting there, but that could be a really cool option for the game. And we're also getting a Vortex Wars Domain event alongside this mode here. Enter the Swirling Flames of the Vortex, earn XP to unlock Cataclysmic Rewards, equip the War Horse skin from the Tracer Pack Horseman War Ultra skin for an XP boost there, just like that Makarov skin where you got more XP towards the event. But overall, it's an easy XP progression event alongside this Vortex mode. Nothing too crazy, and you'll get that, you know, Magma event camo as the Mastery camo as well so solid stuff there but overall let me know down below your opinions on the upcoming mw3 zombies updates what other things you want to see in this game do they go as far as to bring back pvp in the mode add round base and all this different stuff or do they scale back and not really give us much more uh in terms of content updates here throughout the year we'll see what ends up happening let me know down below your expectations on that be sure to subscribe for more cod update videos like this shout out to the youtube channel members as always and i'll see you guys in the next video or live stream peace out guys